Welcome back to Hardball Plaza with sicko filmmaker Michael Moore. I just saw the movie, amazing filmmaking. Go ahead. Hi, Michael. My name is Becca Baker. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. My question for you is, with 71% of the American people dissatisfied with this country today, dissatisfied with the war, with health care, education, that the sky's blue, you name it, they're dissatisfied, do you think that America is ripe for a revolt? Will a revolution put this nation back on track? Jeez. Well, <laughs> uh, we need a revolt at the ballot box is what we need. Uh, we need people to get out and vote, vote their interests. Uh, uh, that, that's, that's really the problem. We still have just a little over 50% that show up at most elections, and we need everybody out there uh, uh, to vote, and we need to make sure that all those votes are counted and counted properly. Uh, and, and that's a big issue that, that I, I wish somebody would get into and uh, talk about this because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's what's the point if you can't be sure that your vote's going to be counted. And again, this is where Canada, for years, they had the, the system that was a paper ballot and it's a number two pencil and you go in there and you mark it and then the precinct dumps them all out on the table when the polls close and you got a poll watcher there from each of the five five parties uh, who stand there and watch the votes being counted. And they do that overnight and the next day they know in a country that has the second largest land mass on earth who the next prime minister is going to be. So uh, I think you know we should be doing that too. Next. Uh, hi. I'm Brian Smith from Alexandria, Virginia. I was just wondering what you thought about the possibility of illegal immigrants getting this government financed uh, health care. Well, I think that any uh, individual uh, who's in this country should be able to see a doctor if they're sick. Even if we, they're not a citizen? Well, of course. They're a human being. I mean, what, what would Jesus do? Right? So, what, so what's the key? You think Jesus would ask for your citizenship papers? If he, he said, I'm here to heal the blind. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you're, not a, you're not a resident of Galilee. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> lepers, lepers from Judea over here. Yeah. yeah. But so Jesus, what's your point? Well, my point is, what's to keep people from coming in and reaping the benefits without putting in... The uh, benefits. It's yeah. a ben it's a ben health care, this is an interesting word. You know we're the only Western country that uses the word benefits right. when it comes to health care? Every other country calls it a human right. It's, we call it a benefit. That's, that's a crazy term. And, and anybody who happens to be here should re receive that kind of help. But it's life, liberty, and happiness, not life, liberty, and health. Right? Well, if you don't have access to health care, you may not be, have life. But, so, but, but people what? would have access to health care, just not government finance. Right, right. Well, uh, but you're not opposed to government financing health care for our soldiers, are you? No, not at all. Uh, but, but, how about our old people? But you saw what happened to Walter Reed, right? Yeah. That's what happens. Well, no, that's what happens when you have people in charge. There's nothing wrong with Walter Reed, just as there's nothing wrong with FEMA. We need FEMA, right? Yeah. It's about who you have in charge. And when you elect the wrong people, if you have a commander-in-chief conducting a war, and he's never been to war and knows nothing about war, what war really is, it's like having the guy from the tennis team be your quarterback on the football team. Are you team. saying that Katrina was badly handled? <laughs> we'll be right back with Michael Moore here on Hardball Plaza.